That instantly recognizable sound, unique to all of us. Imagine using your heartbeat as a passcode for your phone, computer, even your car. A Toronto-based company demonstrates its new technology. Sean Chance starts the software in the band with his pulse. So now, now the band's activated. Holding the band close to his computer. Obviously matches with the computer and is now going to let me in um, to my computer. The same data that's in the chip on your credit card is now embedded in this band, but it can only be activated by your heartbeat. And because my NIMI band actually has my credit card information securely stored on it, I'll show you an example of that. There you go, so I just made a payment. Chance says it's secure. So well, why store. should we believe it? Um, well, I mean, we don't store any kind of biometric database, so in order to try to compromise anything, someone would have to have your heartbeat, your NIMI band, and your smartphone, which is a very secure multi-factor system. We'll say connect. I tried it, but it hadn't been set up with my heartbeat. But the NIMI band recognized that you're not me. A world first, which is... An early adopter of wearable technology, Tom Emmerich is excited about the potential, but says there's a lot that needs to be overcome. They've just recently moved wearables to the trough of disillusionment. It is moving along that maturity curve, and what that means is that we're now expecting to see um, a lot of wearable failures and a lot of wearable successes. Right now, the band is part of a pilot project. About 100 people at TD Canada Trust will try them out. I think it's more just about understanding use patterns and if there's any, any snags, any things that users are finding difficult. The company plans for a wider release that also depends on a receptive public in the future. Stephanie Matisse, CBC News, Toronto.